update. This is my second update. It is a Fantastic Ladies collab. I will put all of their details for you, as always, down below for you to go and check them out, alongside all the other people doing this project. Now, my Pan and Games updates are going up later than everybody else's. This will be a monthly occurrence um, for now, because I have other videos going up around the time that everyone else is posting their videos. So I kind of have to go a little bit later um, just because of my um, my schedule for, for posting videos at the moment. Um, so I do apologise that my videos are going up later than everybody else's, but that just means that once you finish watching mine, you can go and watch everybody else's. So let's get on with it. I have three empties this month for you. So the first one I want to start off with is my Body Shop Virgin Mojito um, Body Sorbet. Now, I was up to there last week and now I'm all gone. There is kind of like a little bit left in there, but I have tried to... The lid won't come off. It just won't come off. So I've tried to squeeze out as much as I could um, and use that but nothing else is coming out of here so I'm calling this an empty. I do have um, a bit in a small like um, bottle like a traveling size bottle um, that I took with me on honeymoon um, last year because I've had this for a while um, but I'm not going to use that as of yet because it is a cooling sensation gel um, and as we're coming into the one into the winter months the last thing I want to be doing is putting a cooling gel on my skin um, I want to be warm <laughs> so um, yes I do want to use the rest of the cooling gel um, this body sorbet up but this is a year-long project pan, so I'm actually going to call this an empty for now. And then in the summer months, I might pull in the travel size bottle um, to finish that up next summer. So this doesn't finish till beginning of August in 2019. So I might pull it in the travel size bottle that I have with this in uh, back in in may maybe June time. So, But for now, I'm calling this an empty because this is empty. So technically it's empty. The next item I have as an empty is my Body Shop Olive but, um, Body Scrub. <laughs> so it was, um, I don't know if you can see that, um, but yeah, it is all gone. So, uh, yeah, I finished this in the shower this morning. Um, it's a really nice body scrub. Um, not as, it's not a sugar scrub. Um, it's more like a cream scrub with like, like, like bits in it. <laughs> so the only way I can describe it. So it, it wasn't, it wasn't a favorite of mine. I prefer the mango one. Um, but yeah, I, it worked. It worked. So that is that empty. And then my third and final empty was my Face Ink Bubble Burst Hydrating Serum with encaps encapsulated argan oil. So it was this. Now it does claim on the packaging that this pod is a single use pod, but then on the back on the back for descriptions it says apply a small amount to clean dry skin avoiding the eye area allow to soak in perfect for use after your favorite mask as an intense hydration pack before your moisturizing routine well when i opened this pod up there was definitely more than single use there was an awful lot in the pod um and the amount that i did actually use because I, I, I went to use all of it but I put some of it on and it literally made my face sticky. It made my face really sticky. And I thought if I use the rest of the serum that's in here, my face is just going to collect anything and everything that's near. I have cats. Well, I have a cat. Um, 
and I would just, I would, I, I would collect his hair on my face. My face would be that sticky if I applied all of it on. So I actually used it up over a couple of nights. Um, this is definitely not a single use pod, not for, in my opinion anyway. So I was quite shocked at that, but never mind, I got use out of that. So as I say, it made my face feel really sticky. So I probably would never repurchase this again. So those were my three empties. So I am now one, two, three, four, five, six. Six empties down out of the 24 items um, because we chose 24 for the 24 um, people chosen for the planning uh, Hunter Games. Anyway, you know what I mean. <laughs> forget the word tributes. I forget that word every time, every time. So let me go on to other products that I have had some use out of, but I haven't finished just yet. Um, the first item is my Avon uh, Hydration Day Cream. And let me show you inside. I don't know if you can see or not, because I've not seen anything in my camera. Um, but there's an awful lot of that gone at the moment. And the reason for that is I actually, I got one of these little body shop, um, little pots. Um, if you go into the body shop and you want to try a sample of their buttercreams, um, their body butters or um, uh, any of their creams or anything, they'll give you a little pot like this. And as you can see in here, I actually have put some of this day cream and I've put it in here and then I've added some liquid highlighter. Um, I've actually added Benefits High Beam into here. I have a little sample size of it, um, which has actually turned the um, cream pink like that. But it's actually made it a very um, glowy cream now. So it gives my skin a bit of a nice glow when I'm moisturising and I really really like that because not only am I using up my day cream which I do you know on a daily basis but I'm also using up a liquid highlighter at the same time which considering I've had it for nearly a year I've never touched it so bada bing bada bang I'm using up two products at the same time so once that little pot is all used up, I will probably do the exact same thing again. Um, take a scoop of this out and put it into the pot. Take a scoop of my liquid highlighter um, and mix the two. Mix the two together and I have myself a homemade glowy moisturiser. So that is that product. Uh, the next item I have is my Monu Skin Line Smoothing Eye Gel or Eye Cooling Gel and that is that. Um, uh, I don't know where I am with this because every time I try to squeeze it some comes out like that. So we won't squeeze it. I'll try and get the lid on. So that's my eye cream done for the day. Um, so yeah, I'm using this on a regular basis, um, every day, morning and night. Um, I think I'm down to here. I, I think I'm down to here. Um, but yeah, getting daily use out of that. Um, I still have the other face ink um, uh, cream, which is a night 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 Soothing Hydro Night Mask with Vitamin E. I'm assuming this it probably is a single use because it's a mask, so it's slightly different. Um, so, yep, still got that one. I've also still got my uh, Parlour Hair Conditioner, 
my Dermalogica Breakout Clearing Treatment. Luckily, I haven't had to use that, although I might have to do soon. I still have my three um, uses of the Clarins Double Serum. Um, I might start using that very soon, actually. I still have my three sachets of my L'Oreal Elvive Multi-Nourishing multi-use nourishing balm um, I'm currently using like a hair balm because um, you can use these um, after shampooing leaving the hair for two to three minutes before rinsing for an intense nourishment and easy detangling I'm currently working on another hair treatment in the shower so um, in another project pan so these will be used once that hair treatment has been used up um, I have my Barbara Daly nail polish in the shade Moon Dust. I'm now down to about here, just below the edge of the nail polish. Um, I have been using this once a month, as um, stated is my goal for this pro product. Um, so yeah, uh, really do like this really beautiful sparkly pink shade, really catches the sun very nicely. So yeah, I will continue to use this once a month at least. And then I have a couple of lip products. So I have my NYX Lingerie in Push Up. I haven't used this this month. Um, I've kind of been focusing on some other lip products that I really want to get out of my collection. Um, so I've not been using this one as of yet. And my L'Oreal Rose Symphony lip gloss, I haven't used this one either. In all honesty, I'm not a pink lipstick sort of person and I'm not a lip gloss person either. So a pink lip gloss is going to be really difficult for me to use up. But I will, I will, I will try and at least use it once a month. I will try that. Okay, we'll go with that. And then I have my Lena Bacardi uh, lip liner. Um, I haven't been marking these in a book, but I'm just trying to get down to the word Lena here. Um, I'm getting closer. I've had to sharpen this a couple of times this month, so that's good. And then I've got some eye pencils. So I have my duo uh, chunky crayon here. I have used the purple a couple of times this month, so that's a lot shorter. Um, I don't think I've used the green very much, so that's not much shorter. But yeah, I then have my Maybelline Lasting Drama Gel 24 Hour Automatic Gel Pencil. It's got the longest name on the earth. Um, this is one that you can only you can only twist up you can't twist down um, so I can't show you how much I have left but I can tell you that I've had to twist this up a little uh, at least two clicks a couple of clicks um, this month so I've obviously used it um, I've used it I think two or three times this month I have used it I use it on the bottom lash line as a pop of colour sometimes um, so I have had to twist it up a little so I'm definitely getting use out of that my brown um, Rimmel eyeliner that's that one um, it's definitely getting shorter um, again I haven't marked these on a book do you know what this month I'm going to mark them in my book and then we can see proper usage then because I just haven't been doing that this for this one I don't know why um, but that's that one done and then my Rhode Isle smoky eye pencil I use this quite often as well um, this has had to be uh, sharpened a few times I'm getting close to the word smoky there um, so yeah um, definitely had to sharpen this a few times this month um, I like this on the top uh, lash line 
um, and then smoke it out a little bit so yep or on the lower lash line and smoke it out I did do a bit of a grungy eye makeup look uh, this month which I really thoroughly enjoyed using my sleek stonework palette um, and I've really enjoyed using this on the lower lash line just to smoke it out and have a really dark grungy eye look so yeah so I have used that this month and then I have three eyeshadow palettes in this project pan I have my essence um, my shell is my castle um, it is this one uh, I let's have a look oh thank you darling Uh, so I just want to get some use out of these palettes but so far nope no use whatsoever thank you no um, not used this once this month but my name. My name. Um, but I will do uh, soon these palettes all I want to do is get them looking used so so you can visibly see that they've been used this is my L'Oreal La Palette Nude in the shade range Rosé, so like that on the back. All the rub writing's rubbed off the front. This is the palette now. So um, this palette was emptied last month. Um, I explained why it got emptied. Um, and then I've been using the two pans that have got a pan already um been using those a lot and this shade a lot um i can see a dip seriously starting to form in this pink shade here so and funnily enough i'm actually really enjoying this deep purple here in the outer corner just to darken up any pink eye look i'm doing so definitely getting some use out of that one and then my Barium Supernatural um, eyeshadow palette. Um, again, I just want to make it look used. Um, so to use it, I'm getting a definite dip. I don't know if you can see in this shade here, an absolute definite dip. I think I'm gonna be hitting pan pretty, pretty soon on that one. And then this shade here is really good as a brow bone um, shade. Um, it goes really, really nice. So there's a dip forming in that one as well. So yeah, um, this one and the L'Oreal one have a very similar colour scheme. Um, and to be honest, I generally tend to turn to my L'Oreal one and then uh, just use this Barry M one for the brow bone. Um, so I have tried to make a conscious effort to use more of the Barry M one, but um, as the two palettes are so similar, um, it's kind of six and two threes really with them. So that is it. That is uh, my panning games update uh, number two. So I am going to finish off and then I'm going to eat my bacon sarni that my husband has just brought up for me. So thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed it, please like, comment and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that bell button so you'll be notified when the next video of mine goes up and I will see you in that next video.